Hello, I'm Idiora, and welcome to the third instalment of How to Edit Like a Bloody Superstar in Ableton Live. Um, this is with uh, stems and uh, particularly useful for remixes when you've got like your full track here. So this is a track by uh, some friends of mine. Um, I've removed the vocal, but we've got the bass, the drums, FX, guitar, keys, melody and strings here. Let's just give you a blast of what it sounds like. Lovely electro pop vibes, I think you'll agree. So yeah, um, what we're going to do is chop this up as if we're going to do a remix of it instead of having the stems to deal with. The reason I use this technique really is for doing remixes in Renoise because it means that I can chop the whole track into very small loops very quickly. Now if you've seen the other two videos you're going to get the gist of what's going to happen here. There's a couple of different things that add into it because we do have a lot of silence. We have a lot of empty space here too. So. Let's go through the uh, checklist. We've turned warp off on all tracks. You can see warps off on all tracks. We've got the BPM set to the original track. The one, they just bounced it out with the one starting bang on. So um, that's a job I don't have to do. And you can see it lines up pretty nicely all the way along, even later on in the drop there. Lovely, perfect. So what we're gonna do, let's say we like the intro. We're just gonna, Say so loop that bit. Okay, so we didn't have it on loop, but anyway, let's control E on this section. And then, yeah, we want to take away the silence. The silence is no use to us. Um, so it's sort of dead space really, isn't it? But then when we crop clip there, uh, let's save the cropping tool later. Okay, let's say, let's say we wanted this intro loop. So you heard that looped then, so we're just going to cut that. Um, and again, you could chop throughout the whole track if you want it. You could just chop every piece of it out all the way along. But I'm just going to select some bits of the song that I like just to show you this method. So the breakdown here. It's a nice little section. You could definitely do something like that. So let's remove, I've chopped it. Remove the sciences. So from this earlier part, do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of all the silences. Um, okay, so that's. Okay, so yeah, you get the idea really. We're just chopping out what we need, getting rid of the silences. Obviously, make sure these are silences. You can see there's nothing at the end of the bar there. Um, if there is any audio content, it's very, very, very low in the mix. Um, yeah, okay, let's take this little secondary breakdown. Delete that. So we've got a silence there and a silence there. Silence there. Oh, we've got a build again. Oh, bit of a switch up. Okay, that sounds cool, doesn't it? Um, so Let's take that away. Again, as I said, you could just chop out, if you want to do a, a full on remix of the whole track and you want to see everything, I'm going to keep that bit because I think there's some audio there. Yeah, there is. Okay, so let's say those are the bits that you want. Oh, what happened? Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Yes, yeah, so you could just, you could chop the whole thing along, um, which is one way of doing it. But if, I, if all these are the bits that I want to use for my remix, I'll press uh, 
control or press select all control a and then I will crop clips and it will put all of these files if I show an explorer let's have a look let's just do the thing I said before and search by date modified there we go there's that okay yes yeah, so we've got 46 files there 46 files um, from the track and that are all straight away lovely little loops that you can use in a remix so I'm going to show you one more thing. If you do import the stems as long files like this, sometimes Ableton will import them and the start point won't be exactly correct. So I'm just going to check each of these files that the start point is on 000, zero, zero because most of the time people send it you um, uh, bang on the timing. Good. Okay. So that's really important to look out for in Ableton with long files is this start point. Once you've unwarped it, make sure that's on zero, zero. And just an alternative method of chopping up the track really, which keeps everything sort of in sync. So we're gonna do what we did really just by eye. Um, it's the same thing that we did last time really, but on a sort of a larger scale because we're dealing with the full track. Um, so I'm just gonna take these loops and what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that we have every single part of the track and it's going to uh, align all the numbers as well so like there's take one take two take three take four take five take six so you'll know for each of these the drums the effects the guitar the keys that this is number six so this is an alternative way of doing it the only problem with doing it like this is that you're going to get the um you're going to get the silence in there. Let's delete those cropped clips because that's otherwise going to cause massive confusion. So you're going to see how many files we've got now if I, if I crop these. You get a ton of files, so um, you should really look out and, and go through and see what's, see what's got any silence in or see what's useful. But the beauty of doing this is that these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they were all aligned throughout each of the tracks, so you know that the um, the melody number three is going to match with the strings number three, the guitar number three is going to match with the effects number three, and so on. Great. Well, thank you very much for watching. That is the final instalment of how to edit like a bloody superstar in Ableton Live. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Midiera, and I'll see you again soon.